Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we are starting the timer. Uh, boom. Uh, issuing the, the first uh, 10 minutes or less apology that uh, there was a lost episode that uh, I thought I pressed the record button, did not press the record button. Yeah, we talked about chores. <clears throat> I am now looking at the record button and I see it is pressed in. It's okay, man. We've had a few. How many lost episodes do we have in the history of the podcast? Like less three, than 10. Less than three 10. Or less than five. I would, I would say less than five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we've, yeah we've only, one, and one was like a recording issue, and one, yeah, we forgot to record a couple. Oh <laughs> so my God. It yeah. happens. But we've recorded like 20. 2500 plus videos to, yeah. to have the hit the hit ratio of like 99.9 percent i'm I'm, pretty, I'm all right with that pretty good it still sucks when it happens all right uh so i'm i'm, I'm got a topic today and it is jonas oh god the world has come to an end today you get to choose how you go out oh how am i gonna die yes so an entity has taken over the planet it's caused the world to fall into turmoil. It is Mad Max. Putin. You get to choose. Is it a zombie apocalypse? Okay. Or is it Rise of the Robots? Oh, man. Uh, let's see here. So, I question you today. Would you rather live the rest of your days in a zombie apocalypse, risking your life and limb, to fight off the hordes of Is this the undead. Storytelling or what, dude? Or would you rather live the rest of your lives knowing that every machine that you encounter could potentially be uh, plotting against you? I'm gonna go zombies, you. Joe, and because zombies are stupid. Like I think, <laughs> I think having a dumb enemy that's just gonna like you can like be predictable what they're gonna do okay. compared to like a smart ass robot that might like build a whole another way to kill you that you didn't even think about because they are smarter than so, you. So, so uh, my question is honestly: is living in either one of these uh, timelines or either one of them like is that a life worth living? Man, if there was ever a real zombie apocalypse, like I would try to do it for a minute, but eventually I'd probably just be like, "I'm done." I'm <laughs> I was gonna say because you you don't have no survival skills. I mean, I and I, that's not yeah. even a sub. No, I'm not I'm even trying to hurt you your know, feelings. No, man, it. I ain't, no, it didn't hurt my feelings in the slightest. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yo, I'm, really? Yeah, like, yeah. Ugh. I've never seen you make a campfire. No, you I can, I can, I can start a fire. You can I, start a grill. Yeah, I can start. I can definitely start a real fire. I can't. I can't now. Now, hold on. With that being said, can I start a fire from scratch? Probably not. Like with two sticks, like yeah. rubbing two sticks together. Yeah. I probably yeah. can't do that. Okay. But I can. I can start a campfire for sure. I've done that many a times. Got to okay. use the triangle method. So my only thing here with this with this whole idea is uh, with a zombie apocalypse, it's usually like a virus or something, and that means it can affect your loved ones. That means that even me and you hanging out. Like, I might have to put two in you at, at some point. Yeah, if I was bit. Hey, you look. know, dude. It ain't, it ain't like they're licking on I've, your neck, dude. I've seen enough zombie movies where I know you're going to be hiding the wound and it's going to be bleeding in your shirt. You're going to be like, no, I I'm always fine. wear shorts. If I got pants on, you know there's a problem. <laughs> you're going to be like, no, dude, I'm fine. I just kind of scratched myself on the. Uh, scratch myself. I'm going to be like, no, dude, you was out there at the Walmart hunting for food. You come back and now you got this tourniquet on your arm. Let me see it. But I feel like I would be like, I'm good. Just take me out. Because, like, at that point, I'd be done anyway, yo. Like, I just, oof. That's the thing about the zombie apocalypse is that there's a lot of, like, people on people at that point. Like, I don't know if I can trust everybody, even the people who I trust the most. Um, you're ever in danger of just dying and then becoming a zombie, adding to the problem. Yeah. Whereas with a robot apocalypse, while me and you necessarily don't have the intelligence to um, construct something that could stop it, there's nothing saying is that somebody else couldn't do it. And honestly, if you take out like the computer mainframe that's affecting all the all the computers and machinery, yeah. then it's it, the problem's handled. The zombies, you have to you gotta you gotta exterminate. Yeah, but like I feel like the robot if the ro robots rise up, man, like that's gonna be that's gonna be rough, dude. Are they now? Are they like? <laughs> are they like cyborgs, like shaped like humans? Are we talking like the Roomba is gonna try to kill me? That okay, okay. Because so, if it's just like if it's just like the Roomba and like the vacuum could like try to like run into my leg really hard. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's say we are talking like a uh, Terminator. Oh like god, style. dude, that's gonna be. They're ruthless. They literally have no empathy or sympathy or N yeah. Just killing machines. And at least zombies are like... Brr, brr. They're ruthless, too. Yeah, but they're slow, yo. 
I you, mean, yeah, like I feel like a, I, I just but feel they like overrun robots you. are faster. The, r- r- zombies overrun you. There's going to be more. There's going to be more zombies than there are. So we're dealing with like three times as many zombies versus that amount of uh, yeah. robots. I guess that I guess the zombie apocalypse eventually becomes eight billion people. Exactly. Be- because every person eventually becomes exactly. a zombie. It the starts- robots, there's like nine of them. <laughs> I wouldn't say nine of them. I would say they have like an army. And they're like, take, they start with like some of the weaker countries. Well, is this like Russia's army? Or is this like a real I, army? I said a robot. I don't know. Are Russians robots now? Is that no, what we're calling like, them? Is I mean, that like a new racial slur a, for Russians? A Russian racial slur. <laughs> I don't know. No, you tell like, me. Uh, is it like, I mean, do they like, you know, like, are they able to take things over? Are they just going to like say they can or I mean, not? you know, it's the the art of war is the art of war, my man. Yeah, I guess so. so. You, you got to take over what you can Shang take Sun over. said it best. You take over what you can take over and then you move on to the other ground. Okay. Was that fireball with someone's soul face in it, dude? Like, so I think that honestly, okay. So look, if you want to just go, if you want to, if you're like, hey, look, I couldn't handle either one. I say take the robot because at least the robots are gonna kill you fast. They're gonna be like human life, kill it dead. Zombies, yo, that's no way to go. I don't want to go eaten alive, and I also don't want to be turned into a zombie to become more of a I part mean, of the problem. I mean, dealing with like a like a apocalyptic wasteland is not the most ideal scenario either. Absolutely like not. Like fighting over like a piece of bread because like yeah. you ain't ate in like nine days. So I, I can feel a person that's like, hey, yo, just take me out because I don't want to live in that and I feel that. So I would take robots in that case. Yeah, I mean, that's how I felt during COVID, yeah. <laughs> you were just like, take me take out. Take me out, yo. He did. He, no. he, gave me the, he gave me the gun I was like, I didn't even want to. It's never getting back to normal. Just take me out. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, it would be interesting. I mean, just imagine if, like, I don't know, it'd be pretty pretty bad if, like, your country was, like, invaded and taken over. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be awful. That, that would be another bad scenario. But, like, but I guess it's not, like, a worldwide dilemma that, like, the the robots and the, and the uh, zombies are, like, there forever until they're gone. I mean, like, it, are they... Let me ask you this. In your question, is this like it's just they aren't defeatable? They're going to eventually take out humankind? I mean, no, there's always a chance to to uh to usurp their 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 uh their reign of tyranny. See, I feel like I come up with some traps for some zombies though. Like I some mean, cool traps, dude, yeah, with like but... fire and stuff, yo, like burning them up. <laughs> you you say this, but all you have is YouTube. <laughs> if soon no, as yo, Google, like, Google goes offline, you ain't making a firebomb trap. <laughs> You're not. I'm You're gonna not. get, I'm gonna get some, <laughs> some gas and a firebomb starter as, kit. As soon as Google goes offline, guess what, man? Everybody's forgot how to do everything. Yeah, that's what's really gonna happen. So anyways. I guess that even makes the whole idea. Well, see, no, but the, the the robots would have to keep the internet on, but they would probably like limit our use or something. Somehow they would know all of the internet, and we would know none of it because they would take it away. Okay, they could have their own like Borg like internet. Well, they would like connect a hive and they mind. would disconnect all the other computers in the world. Yeah, and they would be like, "We have the sum of all knowledge." you guys want to play pinochle and you'd be like no and they'd be like murder but I'm, I'm still saying is that there's somebody sitting out there right now that knows how to make an emp there's somebody and right now we have emps available and we're throwing emp grenades or i don't know if those exist or yeah. we're like setting off emp are those, bombs. those pulse grenades like the i don't know they, if they exist yeah. emp is an electric magnetic pulse which oh yeah they're from down. halo or something right yeah it shuts down uh most machinery actually. okay gotcha yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's 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 I don't real know, thing. dude. But what you do is you get a couple watch batteries. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, MacGyver. Soak what are we gonna in, do? Soak them in some hydrochloric acid. Absolutely, because I just, I got a case of hydrochloric <laughs> acid right in the closet. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. waiting to be used. You just get some plutonium. Oh, yep. Yeah, plutonium. Marty, I'm sure plutonium is available in every drugstore in 1985. Actually, in the refrigerator behind the purple stuff in the Sunny D, plutonium. Oh, okay, good. Well, see, we're set, dude. We are. Yeah, I don't know. It would suck. <laughs> it would suck. I don't know if I have, uh, and honestly, I've never killed anybody. I'm just gonna put that out there. Never yeah, killed right, anybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, a uh, proud murder virgin. Um, murder virgin. I, I, would not, I don't know if I want to be All right. hacking through zombie R- flesh. Completely random question before we end this episode. Sure. How, how long could you survive in the woods with nothing? How long would I survive in the woods with nothing? Not not in the scenario. Like if you if they were like going to the woods. Before I, what, like, die? Before you gave up or died, yeah. Gave up, I don't know. Die, yeah. 
Um, I guess it depends on if I run into something, but if I were not to run into anything, you were just like, hey, you're going to starve to death. Yeah, animals aside, yeah. It's like, hey, you're going to starve to death. Uh, I'd probably last a month before I starve Yeah, to death, I would say, maybe. yeah. I would say and after two weeks, it's fair game at any point. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I could get two weeks. After that, I'm like, yeah. wild card. Anything could happen. Because I'm going to drink dirty water. I'm going to get sick. <laughs> I'm going right, to eat tainted right. meat, and I'm going to die. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, I, like I, I didn't know. boil it long enough. It, yeah. Yeah, I didn't I get a rolling boil doing. or whatever, so. Anyways, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh We are out.